Welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the week of the 14th of November. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings, so it may not resonate for everybody. Do take what does and leave what doesn't. Uh, so for this week, I'll be divining through lavender. Lavender is such a divine, beautiful tool to use, and it smells so good also. So I hope you enjoy that. Very good for intuition. And also I'll be pulling out some cards towards the end. This is the Light Seer, Light Seer's uh, tarot deck. Capricorn, let's begin. Okay, for Capricorn, please. Hmm, Capricorn. Okay. Hmm, your world is changing all the time sometimes like you know it's it's everything all at once and there are moments where you just need to be still still um it there's something there that's, that's asking you to definitely kind of look take a hold of that look deeper into nothing but stillness doing nothing but being still it's saying this is the first message that's coming to me and it seems to be quite important for you because you know you could be non-stop going up and down busy and 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 doing like five different projects at the same time multitasking like no one else and you know um but there comes a time here Capricorn where things will feel may feel a little bit off balance and that is something that you really don't want to be in that place to feel um imbalanced off balance you know because it, it affects your physical self as well um and you know you're finding your feet being having your feet firmly on the ground here so it's just like taking some time out taking some you know, just kind of sit there, even if it's just for a minute or two. That That's a strong message uh, here. It's sometimes important to just not do anything for a very short time, to be still, to be quiet. You know, it's a form of meditation just for your own well-being. So that's the first thing that I got. Also, I have a very specific message, and I know this may sound a bit weird, but um, uh, bear, I see big brown bear. <laughs> Maybe you live in a place where there are bears, which is cool, as long as you don't get anywhere close to them, of course. But um, tell me how that resonates, please. <laughs> but, however, bears are very strong, fiercely protective of their family, of things that they care um, and, and love. Um, and um, I'm seeing something about nourishment, nourishing yourself, not really nourishing yourself like a bear does, I guess. Um, but there, there is, it's like many times uh, Capricorn, you're the protector of the family, of your group, of whatever it is. You're the one that has no problem in speaking up whatsoever. There's something here that is turning around and it's saying, Capricorn, you know, you're fighting for everybody else and your, you know, your, your voice is very powerful, but, you know, try to keep some of that energy for yourself before you lose your voice um, and you don't want that. So that's what I see there. And this kind of like, there is a respect that, that's coming through also. There's a, something that you're doing that's going to be very well done. Lots of attention towards it. It's like a really good job, well done, where there is some some kind of like um, congratulations in order here. Um, I do see a medal or something being presented to you, gifted to you in that sense also. Um, I'm seeing you, are, I'm getting... Lots of specific messages here, Capricorn. Your hair, combing your hair, hairstyle, earrings. You know, whether you're, you could be male, female, you know, earrings. Uh, wearing them. It's just like, you know what, you're like, um, you're gorgeous anyway. But it's, it, you're, 
you're 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 going out you're making the effort to dress up i guess more than than before um even though for a lot of you you've always been that way but it's like perhaps you ha you you're finding yourself again to how you used to be from a couple of years back if you know what i mean um that's what i'm guessing here so cuz you know there was like a year or two of um weirdness <laughs> for the world anyhow so i do, I do see uh, this is coming through for you as well there's entertainment here maybe you are in the entertainment industry or business you're trying to get into that but also there's a lot of entertainment around you i'm seeing just you really you know bustling with joy and having fun and everything and uh, going out at, uh, in the evenings and just you know s stepping out again and um Somebody could be airing their laundry to you, airing out all their laundry. And it's like, whoa, I did not expect that. So there's a lot, there may be a lot for you to take in from this person. And it's like, you finally have it, you won't expect them to carry this and like, okay, what do I do with this now? Um, but they, it's like, you're trustworthy. But uh, I think, you know, it's it's like, not really wanting to deal with uh, other people's situations um, right now, if you know what I mean. So, but that's going to happen. It could surprise you with some of the news that you get given. Anyway, I'm talk. I'm seeing something about a promotion, possible promotion going up as well. Um, and that is being talked about. Um, it could be like behind the scenes also. But they are. You are being looked at in some way. Um, and you could be headhunted from another place also. Okay. Let's see what the cards have for you. Oh, six of cups. I do, by the way, see holding hands with somebody in a romantic way. Um, and feeling just very secure and happy with that. <laughs> okay, six of cups, the fool. And whoo, look at that Capricorn. On six of cups, the fool, and the ten of cups. <gasps> yeah, that's really, really nice. Um, the six of cups, you know, this is you kind of like looking back, seeing the steps you've taken, how far you've come, and it's like you're solidifying your place at where you're at, you know. Um, there, there's there's also perhaps distant memories that's coming to you again that's coming to the forefront so that's what I'm getting here certain memories that you may have forgotten about us coming through and you're like wow it's just another way of you remembering your true self um and you could be finding somebody, something in, in the house, in your home that you haven't seen in a very, very long time. It's going to really kind of um, get you those nostalgic feelings. Um, but there is also now, in terms of another person, something there that's very much a soulmate connection, a deep connection. Whether it's romantic or not, there is that. Um, there's a, there's a freeing energy, especially here with the Fool and the Ten of Cups. And it's like you're stepping out of your comfort zone here. And because you're stepping out of the comfort zone, it's like you get rewarded here with the Ten of Cups. You get rewarded with, um, you know, a lot of uh, fortune after difficulty here. I'm guessing with the Ten of Cups also, fortune favors the bold, the brave, and... The beautiful, I'm joking, no, but anyway, the fool and the, um, what's that TV show called? The bold and the brave and, I don't know, anyway. Um, so, the fool and the, the, the ten of cups, and it's like, there's a feeling of like, yeah, you made it. You made it. Like, seriously. Like, reflect back to see how far you have come, those steps, and it's like that great feeling of you've made it. Fortune favors the bold here with the fool and ooh, we have the strength and the two of cups the holding hands look at that look at that and for those of you out there that 
you know, feel like you don't have anybody there physically, then it's it's a spiritual being that does have you, protects you, has your back, for sure. Um, and here with the strength, it is you sticking to that belief that you have been uh, visualizing that you've been working towards you know that there's like certain rewards that are coming in and having to maintain that it's just you being there's a lot of bravery that's coming through a lot you know you get rewarded once you you step out as i was saying your comfort zone you don't follow the sheep here you don't follow the sheep you're you are your own shepherd <laughs> in that sense um, and with two cups there is something that is beautifully aligning and if it's not for those that's got nothing to do with another person you are aligning yourself with the universe here with the steps that you are taking ahead of you reflecting back the steps you've taken and knowing how to step forward as well with that beautiful, beautiful balance. And there's a lot of self-love here, self-healing, self-love, self-beauty. Oh, the magician, Capricorn, and we get the magician. I love this for you. I love it. The strength, two of cups, the magician. Look at that. Mm? Mm -hmm. Your vision, you're taking the, if you take those steps, you know, there's like something here that I see tried, you know, tested, tried and tested. You know, it's it's like you're not afraid to experiment with different things. And now you have like I'm seeing a basket full of opportunities, full of things that you can, you know, a basket of different ones. Oh, I think I want this one to open that door and this one to open this door and, and whatnot. You're able to be in that position where you can open the doors that you want to. You know, having that flexibility, that freedom, manifesting something very, very big. It's like you could be a, a master manifester here. So be careful what you wish for also. But you are kind of gathering all of this together. You could be growing spiritually as well. But there's something that is always, always, always around you and whatever negative impact that you had in your recent past is soon to change look at these amazing cards look definitely big big changes here capricorn you stand you you stood on your own two feet always and it's like you know you're showing the world hey look at me you don't even have to say look at me they just do <laughs> capricorn thank you so very much for being here I truly hope